Back-to-back goals. How how does that sound? Like a dream. We've worked so hard to create that kind of history, and it never feels like it's possible until it actually happens. Bring it in. Show us your medal. You've grown up in this team. You're going to walk away an Olympic champion. Must be awesome to feel that way. It is, uh, gosh, making me emotional already, man. <laughs> I came in emotional, what am I, I'm lying. <laughs> but this one's pretty special, especially because Tokyo, there was no one in the stands for us. But this time we had 66 odd thousand, and I was able to look up and see my family there yelling and cheering for me, so it's pretty special. Aww. There he is, been waiting to see you. <laughs> Can you talk us through your emotions right now? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to cry at first when the whistle blew, then I thought of everyone who have helped get me here, I was happy, and then last feeling was just a proud moment um, to know that we did it. A whole squad of 20, our management team, it's been a long 10 months, but look, it's worth it, it's worth it. Oi, how did you end up in the walls, like straight away? I thought everyone was worried about my knee and then I just done something to my cheekbone, so see how that goes. Oh yes. Doesn't really matter now though, does it? Oh, just going to have the prettiest photos for the next four years. <laughs> I'm really speechless to be honest. It's been a heck of a journey for all of us, for our squad back home too. We carry them with us. We stand up the sh on the shoulders of everyone that's been in these jerseys before us. It's, it's a journey and I'm just so proud. Proud of Te Kapurau Pango, proud of the girls here. We did it. A double gold for double you. Gold. What a way to sign off. How good is that? Oh. I really want to swear right now, but yeah, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Like we're so grateful just to be able to put on the jersey, let alone to come out with two goals. Sarah, you are already a legend. This is crazy. Double gold Olympic medals. What does it mean to you to, to win another Olympic gold? I think crazy pretty much sums it up five months ago. Um, I was at home crying my eyes out, didn't know what was gonna happen, and then here we are, living the dream, winning a gold medal for, for our country. And clutch from you in the corner. Dancing along the sideline, you know what it's like. Yeah, yeah. Team effort always, you know. <laughs> um, we talked about bringing impact whenever we were on the field, so no matter who was starting, no matter who was on the bench, we had to come on and give everything that we had. That was our last opportunity to win the gold medal, and I think everyone did their job as well. So I was just lucky to get over the line, eh? You're walking away as a champion? Like, that just must feel like a massive mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's not where you go out thinking, right? You just go out there and having fun, playing rugby alongside your mates, and this is just the cherry on top, the bonus that you get to pick up while you're doing your job and having fun with your mates. It's, it's really hard to put into words. I, I'm, to be honest, bloody sore, but just happy and like, the, these moments come around what, every four years and you work really hard for them and you hope that it's gonna happen, but for them to actually happen is just actually unbelievable. And, and what's next for you? What, what happens now? Oh, I'm looking forward to being a normal person, um, sacking out on the couch, watching TV, Netflix, McDonald's or KFC, whatever's on the, on the go. Um, hopefully pop out a few babies in a few years time, but to be honest, I'm just excited to be a normal person. Run if I want, train if I want, if I don't then all good.